know that everybody has a lot of questions about the features and all the details of our BRZ FRS kit, so we're here to go over a couple of them. Our independent cog drive gives us multiple advantages. One of them is that it is an independent drive from your serpentine, so if anything does happen to your drive system with the blower, you can still drive home, you can still make it anywhere you need to without compromising the drivability. The other advantage that we have, we can run multiple blowers. We can run a C30, a C38, we can run high boost, low boost, just by changing our pulleys. With the, with the cog drive system, that's the only way you're going to be able to turn that C38 blower. With the C38, we're getting uh, over 400 wheel horsepower. That's the reason that we went with the cog drive system that was independent, so we have all these advantages over the other systems. We go to our CNC bill aluminum plate. It's uh, pocketed, three quarters inch, and very strong. We go into our silicone tube. That allows us to run the C38 on this, which we have the two and a half inch inlet going through to the two and a half inch aluminum tube. The reason we're able to do this is because we made a new reservoir. This reservoir comes with all the kits and allows you to run that two and a half inch tube to the intercooler. As with the rest of the kit, this does not require any cutting, splicing, welding, anything modification to the car. It bolts on with our simple brackets to your bumper support. It's a high flow, high efficiency intercooler that's capable of 480 wheel horsepower. That brings us to the outlet, which is two and a half inch. We come the two and a half inch into the engine bay. We step to the three inch tubing with a straight shot into the throttle body and the MAP sensor right before there. Coming over, another nice feature of this is our cold air intake. This is a rolled molded tube that comes into the front of the engine bay, comes outside into the bumper area, and that's where the factory system was. You get the coldest air here. It's about 15 to 20 degrees cooler. Stepping over, this is our new Craftworks blow off valve. Flows 26% more than our old valves we put in. This will be coming in all your new systems. We also have an option that goes into our oil cooler system. So it's, it's a new mount that we put in here, the adapter, so you can get on here. It still clears all of our uh, blower system and features a eighth inch port and back in case you wanna get some temperature off there or feed another sensor. Another one that we came out with is our new stainless steel four to one stepped header. This is a single step design going into a true four to one merge collector. It's stainless steel and it's a factory fit up and it uses the factory sensor placements. Our grams injectors have been running great and we actually have them on this setup here. We go from 550 all the way up to 2200. They're a direct fit drop in, no splicing, soldering. Comes with all the adapters and clips that you need. The main reason they can't run a C38 blower is they're running off the factory serpentine system, which is six ribs. To run the bigger blower, it takes more horsepower to turn the bigger blower. Those ribs will start slipping, so you either need to do a wider belt or put more tension on it. Right now, they can do neither one. The main reason is you're using a certain size belt and the blower is in a certain location. Once you change the size of that pulley, it changes how much the tensioner can apply tension to it. So you'd have to get a smaller belt or you have to get a custom belt or a custom pulley set up. It's not as easy as just swapping out a pulley. You can fit one under the hood. I don't know if you'll be able to drive it though. Right now with our systems with C38s, uh, we're, we're over 400 horsepower. Uh, a fully maxed out system with a, a nice uh, skunk header and some grams injectors, we're looking at uh, 480, close to 500, shouldn't be a problem. 91 octane gas, uh, there's been independent dynos that have, have ranged from 295 to 320. Uh, the problem with the 91 octane and the motor is the high compression and the knocking. So most people keep the timing out. Once you put 85, it's almost unlimited. Oh.